So I'm going to show you today how to use royal icing um, for cake decorating. It's a really important part of cake decorating. We use it for everything. It's a brilliant polyfiller for lumps and bumps, filling any cracks, and also it's fantastic for decorating your cakes. We're going to use um, a soft peak royal icing today for um, writing a message on a cake. And we're going to use um, a piping bag with a number two nozzle. So it's going to be a nice size for writing a message on your cake. Um, and I'm also going to use a side smoother and I'm going to use a pin tool as well so I can just score a line onto my cake before I start writing so it's not all, all wiggly, it's all nice and straight and so it's going to look good. Just across the top of the icing, so it's only a light line and I'm gonna, I can rub that away in a minute. When you've covered a cake and it's set for a day, the line won't be um, as noticeable, it'll just be a light line, but we've just covered this cake now. But ideally you'd do this the day after you cover the cake when it's set, so you won't get such a big mark. Now I've got my guide, I can come in and start writing my message. So with writing a message, I'm just letting the, I'm squeezing the bag, and then stopping squeezing when I pull away from the letter. And I'm also letting gravity work. I'm not trying to draw it, I'm trying to start from one point to another and let gravity pull the icing down so it's going to be neat. There, I need to finish there so I pull away. Third part of my letter, dropping that down, pull away. And then I always imagine when I'm piping a letter I try and kind of break it into, into separate sections and not do a continuous line, it's going to be neater. I made a mistake there, it's not a problem, if you ever make a mistake always keep a clean paintbrush handy. Just make sure that you've dampened the edge a tiny bit, and I've taken off the excess and you can always take that away. Do the message in white first because if you've got a very very strong icing colour it's going to stain straight away onto the icing surface below. So if you go over with white first it doesn't really matter if you make a mistake and then you can go over it with another brighter colour later. You can go straight over it, it doesn't really need to set um, and that's quite a good idea especially if you haven't done it before. What I would normally do here, there'd be quite a lot of decoration on the cakes and flowers and some piping so it's going to cover all that. Just start again. When I stop at each point, I'm just pressing into the cake before I stop squeezing and then pull away. If you get, um, if you carry on squeezing, you end up with these kind of like snags and tails. So if you get any sort of pointy bits, you can just pat them down with a with a paintbrush just to neaten them off. If you want to be really um, particular about it. So that's how you um, pipe um, a message. If you wanted to pipe onto a cake board. You can just again use the, use the um, edge of the board as a guide so you don't need to score a line then. I always imagine when I'm piping a letter I try and kind of break it into, into separate sections and not do a continuous line, it's going to be neater.